a fantastic example of Florentine bronze. Now, who will start at 140,000? 140,000? 160,000? 70, 80, 90,000? 200? 20? 40? 250,000. 250,000, 60,000, 70, 80, 90, 300,000, 10. Sold! You know, after all these years, I still get goosebumps coming to these auctions. The paintings, the sculptures. Things that aren't really paintings or sculptures. The pretentious vultures who never look up from their calculators to see what they're buying. Now that gives me goosebumps. Auctions are disgusting. I couldn't agree more. Savages. Oh. Now, lot 15. An equestrian piece attributed to the Trellini School. Now, who will start at 250,000? 80,000. Thank you, sir. 300,000. 320. 340,000. No more on 340,000. Sold once, twice, sold. Uh, and finally, lot number 17, thought to be lost in the war. And again, last night. <laughs> the Da Vinci Sforza, the Jew of the same. Fantastic. It's looking like a constipated warthog, a prerequisite for getting a job in the art world. Dottoressa Anna Baragli of the Vatican. Doc? Some of us warthogs are more constipated than others. Perfection. The Vatican extends its jealousy to the lucky bidder. Thank you, Doctor. We'll begin the bidding at $20 million. Thank you, sir. 20.5. Waldo! Oh. $100 million clams! That's $100 million yes. to Mr. Darwin Mayflower. $100 million! Fantastic. One hundred million dollars and one. I bid by my own wish. Kel Barmer. Don't hate me, baby. Funny. Funny. Any other bid? Going once. Going twice. Anybody would have done the same thing. No, I mean, you didn't have to tackle me and rip my dress. Oh. Oh, I'm just kidding. Thanks for saving me, tough guy. Why was that guard chasing you? Because danger, Doc, is my middle name. Oh! This is a brand new tuxedo! Uh -huh. 
Take a road kill! Up your season! Yeah, 